Welcome back guys. So I will assume you have watched my video on how to bind the FreeSky X4R or X4R SB. And uh, like I said at the end of that video, if you are getting the solid green and solid red light while trying to bind it, then that means your firmware between the receiver and transmitter is conflicting with one another. Uh, to elaborate, one of these has the EU version of firmware and the other does not. The other has the non-EU version of firmware. I have already made a video showing you how to change and upgrade the firmware in your Tyrannus, so this video will be on how to change the firmware of the receiver. So let's put this aside. Go ahead and grab your Tyrannus. Uh, once again, we want to push both of these in and turn it on to enter the bootloader screen. Without pressing any buttons, we want to attach a USB cable to the back side and put it to the side. Now we will just go online, search for FR Sky. It's pronounced Free Sky, but that's how they spell it. And you will find frsky rc.com. Click on that. Now go to the download tab. Next, the firmware tab. Now we want to find the X4R or X4RSB, which is right here. So click that. Now uh, don't go ahead and download this. Let me explain. If your Tyrannus has the EU version of firmware, then your receiver also needs the EU version. Uh, and then vice versa. If the Tyrannus has the non-EU, then you need to download a non-EU version. Now, uh, I'm not going to go into this download or these two. Um, that's, a, that's probably going to be a different video, but uh, I would say this is the normal EU version of firmware right here. And uh, this is the outdated one, so you don't want this one regardless. And if you want the non-EU or non-European version, then this is going to be the one that you want. So it's going to be either this one or this one. Now I have purposely put the EU version of firmware in my receiver to make it not work on purpose because my Tyrannus has the non-European version of firmware in it. Uh, so to fix that, I will match the non-European version with the non-European version. So this is the download that I want, but like I said, if you do need the EU version, this is the one that you want. So I will just download that. I have my RC folder where I keep all of my RC files and things like that. I have gone ahead and made a file for the X4RSB. So I will click that and save. That way when it downloads, I know exactly where it's going. Once it's done downloading, we can go back to that folder. This is a .rar or .rar file. So you need a program that can open that. Um, I am using 9-zip. Uh, if you don't have a program yet, you can just go to your app store and just search for 9-zip and you'll find it, download it, and then you can use it. Uh, once you're on this screen, just go to Extract All. And I want to extract it in, uh, see if I hit this, then it's going to put it in my X8R file, and I don't want it there, so I will find my X4RSB folder and select folder. Once it's extracted, we can now delete the download because we no longer need it. Click on the folder, click on it again, and here is our file. So we will just copy. Now we want to find the memory card on the Tyrannus, which is right here. Um, hope I mean, you won't see this unless you have it connected, so hopefully you've gone ahead and connected your Tyrannus to your computer, uh, like we did at the beginning of this video. So now we want to click on the Firmwares folder. I will make a new folder, and I'm just going to name it X4R. You can name it whatever you want. Click on it and paste. And now our uh, downloaded file is now inside of our Tyrannus. So we can close that out. 
Now disconnect the USB cable from your Tyrannus. Go ahead and power it off. Now we need to talk about how we want to connect the X4 RSB to the Tyrannus. So let me take it off of my flight controller. Going back to the Tyrannus, if we look on the back side and you take this cover off, you will see some pins. I've gone ahead and labeled these pins for you, but uh, basically these top two pins we won't use at all. Then the middle pin or third pin is going to be our positive. The one below that is a negative. And then the last pin is going to be going to your telemetry, uh, also known as smart port. Now my X4R SB is going to look different from yours because I've modified mine. I've depinned it and a bunch of things like that. Let's just look at this D4R2 because they look exactly the same. Of course you are going to have a positive and a negative and a wire coming from smart port. So if you look on this small connector right here, you will see four pins. It's going to be the pin closest to this corner, this very last pin. That is your smart port wire. Now I'm just going to take a three wire servo cable like this with nothing on this end. And uh, typically the red wire is in the center, but I just use a razor blade to pull this little tab up and uh, I pulled the red and black wires out and then rearranged them to be in the same order as the pins in our Tyrannus. You don't have to do that as long as you remember which wire goes where. Uh, just don't get any power and ground wires crisscrossed. So coming from my X4R SB, I will connect power to power. And I'm just going to quickly solder these two wires together. It doesn't have to be a good solder or anything like that. You just want them contacting. Now I will do the same thing with my ground wires. And that is going to leave this white wire coming from the three pin servo connector. Like I said, this white wire will go to your telemetry wire from the X4R SB. Uh, once again, yours looks like this. And you will connect that white wire to the wire on this corner. But because I don't have that little connector on mine anymore, I removed it. Uh, I just have a wire soldered directly to that smart port wire pad, which is going to be this green wire. And that will give me something that looks like this. I know I do still have this white wire coming from my X4R SB. That is my S bus wire, and it's not needed. All we need is power, ground, and telemetry, or smart port. Now I'm just going to take this and plug it into the back of the Tyrannus, uh, just like I mentioned before, with positive on top, uh, negative in the center, and the smart port wire on the bottom. And that will look something like this. Next I'm going to take a piece of electrical tape and try to tape this to where none of the wires can contact one another on accident. Okay, there we go. Now in your Tyrannus, turn it on. Mm, you turn me on. Hold down the menu button, press the page button, go down to firmwares and press enter. Go to the file that you made and press enter again. Select the downloaded file and press enter again to flash external device. At this time your Tyrannus will start sending power to your X4R SB. You should have a solid green light and a flashing red light and you also get this uh, little meter showing you the progress. Okay, once that's done, the uh, light on the X4R will turn off. You will get this screen, just back out, turn it off. You can now disconnect your three wire servo cable from the back. Now I'm just going to remove these wires from one another. Now at this point you can bind the receiver just like normal, uh, just like how I showed you in the uh, X4R binding video. So. Now I'm just going to uh, connect the power and ground wires to my flight controller just to give it power. I'm not going to show you the entire binding procedure. Uh, I'm just going to give you a link in the top right of your screen right now or look in the description below and uh, you will find the binding video. 
Just like in that video, I'm going to hold down the failsafe button and apply power. And now I'm getting a solid green light and blinking red light. So if we turn the binding off on the Tyrannus, remove the power, then reapply power, we get that solid green light that we've been looking for. Uh, once you get the solid green light, that means you're, uh, it was successfully bound and everything is properly working. You are now done. Uh, so now, if you want, it's time to move on with the rest of the Trans Series playlist. I will leave a link to that in the description as well. And I will see you there.